Okay. Lisette, who in your family can cook? Um, no, I can't cook. No? Oh, okay. Veronica, who, uh, in your, who in your family can make tortillas? Tortillas. I, my mother and my sister can do tortillas. Make, make. Can make. Make or cook? Cualquiera does make or cook? Okay, make. Okay, Melida Sarai, who in your family can cook? Okay, your cousin, I heard. It is difficult to hear her. Is it raining there? Yes, ah, okay. So, Lisette, what's your question? Si yo quiero decir que, o sea, que yo tengo habilidades para hacer tortillas, ¿cómo tengo que decir? I can, I, I can, can solo make, I can, I can make tortillas. Uh, I, can make tor I can make tortillas. Yes. Yes, solo sí. Yes. Okay. Thank can, you. can. Utilizamos el auxiliar can para hablar acerca de can. nuestras habilidades, ¿verdad? Pueden okay. pensar en tres habilidades que tienen. Tres habilidades que usted tiene. Yo será eh, una, buscar tortillas. Ah, ok. Ok, <risa> ya solo le faltan dos. Um, eh, let's start with Xiomara. Let's start with Xiomara Yamilet. Say, I can. I can swim, I can dance, I can speak Russian, I can speak Chinese. Xiomara Yamilet, can you listen to me? Okay, then let's go with Mateo then. Mateo, can you help me please? Three abilities that you have. I can get, I can play, I can cook. I think. I can cook too. Okay, I can cook, I can play soccer, and the second one I couldn't hear you. Sorry. So oh, I can play basketball. Oh, I can play basketball. So do you like sports? That's nice. Escoja uno de sus compañeros, Mateo, please choose one of your classmates. Who do you choose? Carlos William. Okay, Carlos, can you please tell me three abilities that you okay. have? I, I can play in hello. Hola. Hello, Carlos. Can you listen to me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Say your I can listen. Please. Thank you. Okay. I, I can play Nintendo and PlayStation and oh, I can I play can, video games I, and I, I can cook but I can cook sandwich and I can drive okay I can drive a car I can cook sandwiches excellent thank you Carlos uh, just, just the last of your classmate Okay. Remberto. Hello, Remberto. Good evening. Can you tell us some of your abilities? I have. I can. I have working. I I have play. I pardon. I play. I play soccer. I play Nintendo. I play PlayStation también. Mm. Okay, thank you, Roberto. I can play video games and I can play soccer. Nice. So let's continue. Let's continue with this. Just a second. 
Okay, then after that, we study this topic too. Preposition of place. Do you remember the preposition of place? Yes. Yes. Okay. Between, on the corner of, next to. Okay, excellent. Across between, to. across from, in between, on the corner of. Which other one do you remember? Next to. Next to is another one. Thank you. In front of. In front of. On. On. We use on too. So let me ask you a couple of questions in these pictures. So where's where's the movie theater? Can you answer that the question? Movie. Movie theater is on Main Street. Thank you. That is a correct answer. The movie theater is on Main Street. On significa está sobre esa calle, ¿verdad? Está sobre la calle principal, Main Street. Thanks a lot. So, where's the gas station? Where's the gas station? The gas station is on Center Street. Oh, okay. The gas station is on Center Street. Uh, or on the corner of Perth Avenue and Center Street. Okay, thank you. That is a good answer too. Uh, where's the Davis Drugstore? Where's Davis Drugstore? Davis Drugstore is next to supermarket. Thanks a lot. You are right. Davis Drugstore is next to the supermarket. And where's the park? Park is on First Avenue. Okay. On the corner of First Avenue and? Main. In Main Street. And if I want to use across from? From department store. Okay, across from the department store. And the last question, where's the city bank? Where's the city bank? The city bank is between, between department store and uh, Maria Tresor. Thanks a lot. Okay, now it's your turn. Ahora es su turno. Let's see. Um, so let me see. Janet, puede preguntarle a sus compañeros por algún lugar en la foto, please? And you say, where is? Where is the doctor hospital? Okay. The, the doctor hospital is on Center Street across from gas station. Thanks a lot. Uh, Carlos, it's your turn. Can you please ask for some place on the picture? Okay. Please help me. Where is the Davis drugstore? Davis Drugstore is its own second avenue. Thanks a lot. Now, Mateo, is your turn. Ask the question. Okay. Help me. How can I get to Osama Al's coffee shop? How can I get to Al's coffee shop? But where are you? ¿En qué parte está? I am, no, no, uh -huh. I am in uh, Maria, no, no, no. I am, quiero ver, ¿dónde me puedo? <laughs> I am in Davis Drugstore. Okay, then you are here. You are here and you want to go to 
all I coffee want to shop. Go to all coffee shop. Okay. Who can help him? ¿Quién puede ayudarle para llegar del de, de lugar Davis Drugstore to all coffee shop? You turn left on to Second Avenue. O sea, ir a la izquierda. Eh. Walk up. Uh, walk up to on the Second Avenue. Oh, but what up? You say what up? That is what para up. arriba. Uh -huh. O sea, no, yo lo veo para arriba del otro lado. <laughs> ah, okay. okay. Mm. O sea, te podría ser down. Yeah, difficult to know, right? Difficult to sí. know. <laughs> bueno, supongamos que el otro lado es, es, es para arriba. <laughs> Okay, so it's okay. Go up. Go up. ¿Cuántas cuadras tiene que caminar? Walk up or walk up. Go walk. up. Walk up. No. Okay. Walk up. Yes. Otra referencia. Any other direction to help him? Ya llegué aquí. I am in the corner of Main Street and Second Avenue. But I can see a jet. So give me another direction or instruction. I am here right now. You walk one block more. Okay, one block more here. Okay. Oh, you can also say all oh, coffee shop is next to favorite shoes. Okay, thanks, thank you. So, de esa manera, ¿verdad? Damos direcciones. Para dar direcciones aprendimos algunas frases, right? Como go up, go down, walk, walk go straight, vaya a ser recto, ¿no? go straight, turn, let's see, for example, go straight, second avenue, turn right, turn right. Uh, turn right a la derecha ¿verdad? o a la izquierda turn left y de esa manera damos direcciones so let's see the next topic oh sorry ok answer the following question simple past tense review en esta parte vimos mucho acerca de los verbos regulares e irregulares What's the difference between them? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre los verbos regulares y los verbos irregulares? Do you remember that part? Uh, the regular verb change and, uh, and the irregular is not change. <laughs> oh, okay, thanks. De regular birds, eh, tenemos reglas. Bueno, seguimos algunas reglas para hacer el pasado. We follow some rules and we add ed. So, no cambia la raíz de los verbos. Bueno, son, solo tenemos que agregar al final del verbo ed, d o i -E d Y en el caso de los verbos irregulares, cada verbo tiene su propia forma. And we have to learn them from a list. Then I have this couple of questions about the past. Let's see the first one. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? I went to work. Okay. Yesterday, Sunday, I went to work. Yes. That is, that is in, in the my answer. case. In my case, yes. Ah, okay. Nice. So I went to work. Uh, any other answer? What did you do yesterday? I went to the hiking and the supermarket. Okay, I went to the supermarket. Any other answer? What did you do yesterday? 
I went to the music. I went to the, can you please repeat? I went to the music. I went to the museum. Museum. Excellent, I went to the museum. Any other answer? I, I went. I ate pupusas, nice. I ate pupusas. Quien descansó ayer? Is, I rested a lot. Descans Me. Okay, Me. I rested a lot. I rested a lot. I stayed at home. Then let's go with the next one. Where did you go last weekend? Where did you go? A qué lugares fue el fin de semana pasado? Where did you go last weekend? Nobody. I stay at home. No, I stay at home. I stay at home. Then did you go shopping? Yes, I did. Okay, I went, you. I went to the mall. Okay, I went to the mall. Perfect. Uh, did you stay at home? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. When did you last go to the movies? Do you remember that? When did you last go to the movies? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que fue al cine? When did you last go to the movies? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember, she said. Any other answer? When did you last go to the movies? A year ago. Oh, okay, I went to the movies a year ago. A year ago. Any other answer? When did you last go to the movies? Okay, what was the last movie you watched? La ulti oh, la última vez que fue al cine, what movie did you watch? ¿Qué película vio? The Avengers, okay, the yeah. Avengers. The Avengers. Any other answer? Hello. I was Sonic. Ah, Sonic. Oh, that is a good movie, Sonic. My son loves Sonic. <laughs> and my son too. Ah, okay. Your teacher, ¿cuál fue la última que vio? The last movie I saw, it was... Um, Let me remember. <laughs> I I don't remember it. I it was it. Yet, do you know that movie? It's about a clown. The double clown. <laughs> 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 yes. Okay. So so let's go with this last part of the class today. Happy goodbye, dear students. Today is our last uh, virtual session, right? And let me read this for you. Today marks the last day of the course, beginner three. I must take this opportunity to appreciate you for the time you did your best, wishing you all the very most excellent for the upcoming opportunities. It was a great blessing being a teacher of such brilliant student. Okay, mate. So let's say thank you. Thank you for thank your you, punctuality. Thank you. thank you for your attention. Thank you for your participation. And now it's time for you to say something about this course. Just a second. Mm -hmm. 